the last six years, we've been taking apart uh, a station and putting it back together. The New Street project itself reported to be the largest refurbishment job uh, currently under construction in Europe. We've employed around about uh, 10,000 different construction workers over uh, 60 different contractors. We're at about 42,000 tonnes of concrete removed from the project. We work 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The scale of it has been huge. The main partners are uh, Network Rail, Birmingham City Council and Mace, our delivery partner. Uh, Birmingham City Council, they bring all the money in through the, uh, the funders. They're also responsible for all matters of land assembly. Uh, Network Rail is the operators of the station that oversee the construction work and Mace is the delivery partner, make all this thing happen. It's been great working on here in terms of the collaboration and the way the teams evolved together. It's not been a Mace team, Network Rail team. We've ended up as a gateway team. Personally as well, I'm from the Midlands, so it's great putting something back into the Midlands. We're usually proud of uh, what we've created. The biggest challenges that we've faced on the project are dealing with a 1960s build structure. We're cutting holes the size of a football pitch out of it, putting a glass roof on. To do that, make sure that the structure stays uh, weathertight and that the public are safe while they're walking through it has been Immense. We've had an impeccable safety record throughout the project and that's hugely important to us. There's up to 225,000 people at peak. We're responsible for their safety as they go through the middle of the building sites. There's been a huge, huge challenge from that respect. Sustainability has been vital for this project and we've really set a new benchmark in terms of stations in the UK. We've incorporated an increase of local ecology in the area. As you can see in the background, we've got a 77 metre span green wall with 25 different species. We're recycling at least 98% of our waste from major demolition like the central atrium. Our energy will be sourced from a combined heat and power plant. We'll capture the heat as a byproduct of that, which will provide heating and hot water not just to the station, but to John Lewis, who partnered into this scheme as well. Other things that have been really, really cool and exciting have been the use of LED lighting and close control of that, making sure that all our timber material is responsibly sourced that comes on site. The Briam sets a benchmark for how sustainable a project in a building like this is. We're aiming for a Briam rating of very good. We've also delivered a Briam rated excellent building on Platform 1 for cross countries accommodation, a really, really green building and a really exciting achievement. One of the overall aims of the, of the project is to stimulate growth and regeneration in the south side of the city. That was an idea six years ago. We're actually seeing um, the green shoots of recovery already happening on the south side. So we've got a John Lewis there now. Um, lots and lots of properties have been uh, developed. So the theory's worked. It'd be great to see the public come in and actually use the building. And so I think that's, that's hugely exciting. The new station is really impressive. The craftsmanship that has been used in putting it together. It really is a beautiful station. It's for me one of the best stations in UK, I think. Just seeing that today and seeing the eye, it's just amazing. It's a kind of an iconic design, so it's going to be it's going to be a great first impression for the city. The biggest benefit to Birmingham will be the uh, influx in business. I've just uh, landed a job with Cat Kidson, which is just above Birmingham New Street Station, so I'm quite looking forward to that. It's the next step in the rebuilding of the City of Birmingham. It's accessible and pleasant to be in. Everything's fantastic. When they realise what sort of station we've got here, then obviously it makes it more attractive to travel by train to get here rather than use the roads. It'll make me feel better about the city. It will really revitalise the city. It's the architectural wonder. I think it's an exciting new venture for Birmingham. It's a very vibrant place. My proudest moment will take place on the morning of the 20th of September when we actually hand the keys over to the station, to uh, the new station manager. I've worked on the project for four years, I've got some of my colleagues who have been here for nearly seven years. It'll be usually rewarding to see the public and the passengers actually use, use the station, the retail centre. I can't wait for the Monday morning rush hour when all those people travelling through the station They'll have left on Friday night and they'll come through and they'll see this concourse that's five times bigger than what they left on the Friday night and they will go, wow, where's that come from? <laughs>